Alright guys, welcome to our final battle in our series on the American Revolutionary War. Uh, heads up, this game crashed on the, the first time I tried to record this, so uh, hopefully this is the version you guys get and I don't have to do this 12 times, but uh, coming at you with the final battle of the American Revolution, at least the final major battle, the Battle of Utah Springs. You're going to see a showdown between about 2,200 Americans going up against about 2,000 Brits. Uh, the Americans under Nathaniel Green, by the way, the British under Alexander Stewart, who was the British commander left in Charleston following the bulk evacuation of the British from the American southern colonies to uh, Yorktown, Virginia. So we'll go ahead and fast forward past the troop deployment phase real quick. And all right, there we go. Now what's nice is uh, for the army I've got, we've got a big number of regulars finally for I think like the first time in this series. Uh, we've got the Continental Infantry. Uh, so it's nice to have some regulars finally in the American Army. Uh, for the British though, they've got a lot of regulars themselves, so I gotta watch out. Because uh, they are gonna come at me, bro. We do have some artillery also. Uh, now, we do also have some militia. We're going to send them over to this flank over here and guard that. But the bulk of our troops, uh, the more professional boys, we're going to send them to the center. We've got some dragoons out there and some minutemen. We're going to use the minutemen to hold our left flank. But what we're going to do is try to get our forces up on these hills at the center of the battlefield and uh, fire down onto the British as they try to approach. It's going to be a little bit easier said than done, though, because this hill the British are a lot closer to, and it's going to be a uh, interesting battle to try to capture this little position right here. Cannon starting to fire, getting some early shots on the British... So we are using Regiment of Force to represent the British Militia Heavy Cavalry, by the way. Get some early nice shots on them. <clears throat> so this cavalry is the reason why I wasn't able to capture that hill uh, early on, because their movement out here forced me to put a lot of my infantry units into squares to avoid getting any major cavalry charges against my line. This is a full scale, by the way. Sweet soldier you see here represents exactly one that would have been in the store for that. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, get my troops in line. Unfortunately, the Minutemen cannot form line. But we are getting some shots on these guys. And uh, hopefully they don't do too much damage to the Minutemen. I'm moving them in for a melee assault, but oh. Oh, oh man. That is a screenshot if there ever was one right there. Look at that. Uh, but they are about to charge in. Fortunately, they have to move uphill, so that's going to slow down their charge and prevent any major damage to our Minutemen here. See, we didn't take too much damage. Not bad, not bad. And, uh, I believe I'm going to send my Dragoons to go sweep those guys up, but other than that, uh, we are going to continue moving forward with those Minutemen, get them onto this hill position here. Oh 
man, I'm throwing these guys really far forward. You can see at the center of the back row there, uh, we are starting to engage with the British regulars. Man, what are you guys doing? Are you going for a bayonet charge? What is happening? Oh my god, you are getting way too close. Oh, we're getting regulars up too. Okay, maybe not. This could be good. This could be good. Let's take a look here. Ooh, ooh. First shots for the British unit. Oh man, they got some hits in too. You guys aren't even loaded? What are you doing? Oh, man, regulars, come on. You're supposed to be more professional than this. Get some shots off on the boys, uh, but uh, they did capture that hill from us. Looks like they may be falling back, though. A lot of them are broken. So we may actually go for a bayonet charge on this unit here. What do you say, boys? Alright, here we go. This guy, drummer. God, that's a big sword. What are you doing with a sword that big? Oh, these guys are just getting run over. Uh, over here, I think we're going to move these guys up to get in position over there as well. Uh, over on the side over here. Looks like we are engaging with the British as well. On our flank, by the way, we are starting to move our... Uh, oh, man. Militia in a position, and I think this is where I saw that the British artillery was all by itself over here. I don't know who's shooting them. I think that must be friendly fire or something. Because that's definitely not me. They're just in a really bad positioning, and they're just shooting their whole guys. God. Yeah, so I sent the uh, militia to go over around those uh, cannons. Looks like a big bulk of the British. Trying to reorganize in the center. Over here, Beta charged by the British against our line. As my Dragoons move up to help hold uh, the flank here, charging in. Get ex oh my god, you see how many guys just get flying? These guys are actually holding pretty well. Uh, I'm impressed. Like, 81 guys, they're going to hold. So I think I actually pull the Dragoons back and go for a second charge eventually. But uh, over here, we got the British Redcoats. Also doing pretty well against their line. Over here, these guys also still holding pretty well. I think they did finally break, though. And uh, they're going to disengage. Over here, looks like our militia just overran that artillery. Now, this is where the militia made a mistake. I thought that uh, we had captured these cannons, but they looked like they were able to get them limbered up, and they are routing, and they actually end up coming back to the battle later. That was a big... Um, mistake for me. I just wasn't paying attention. I thought when they overran those guys, they uh, had captured those cannons. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. But what is happening is I'm going to post these militia behind this group of British, catch these guys from behind, and get some uh, steep casualty counts in on the British. Get danger close with the muskets. Almost point blank range fire. Oh man, they got a good volley off. Second good volley. And we're going to wreck these guys. And there we go. Those guys are breaking as our militia pour out of the trees. You guys are panicked now. 
So uh, there we go. Looks like the second cavalry charge for the Dragoons worked perfectly. We've got a little bit of a holdout here from some more line infantry that tried to uh, help kind of get those uh, companions off the battlefield safely. We have some bullets coming in, though, from our unit up here as they are caught out of position. Our Dragoons, guys, what are you doing? Get back up the hill, god damn it. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, looks like a group of British regulars moving through this patch of trees here. But they're getting caught in the middle of a hornet's nest of, uh, of lead. Lead bullets flying all over the place. From the British perspective here, you can see some movement. I don't know what's going on back there. It looks like I've got a third Dragoons unit swinging around to go take that artillery out. And it looks like, oh, light infantry. Yeah, these guys are trying to get in position to fire on the backs of our militia. And they may actually get a shot off here before the cavalry hits. Come on, hit before the artillery fires. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Good job, boys. Fortunately, these guys uh, can fire from horseback, so they got some shots off right before they hit the British artillery. And uh, there we go. Finally captured those. So not too much damage from them returning to battle. We're going to use those uh, Dragoons later in the fight we're sending. Looks like uh, we've got a lot of Dragoons routing in this patch of trees back here. And the battle looks like it is almost over, guys. I want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon subscribers, the Tiger Tarkus, Bob Wilson, Lord Cogos, Melissa Carter, Neil Christie. Oh my god! This unit is getting wet! But uh, if you guys are interested in joining, you can head to the link in the video description below. We also have a Twitch channel. Get excited. On uh, Saturdays and Sundays is when I kind of do these battles. And then throughout the week, I do the commentary and upload them to YouTube. So you can catch the behind-the-scenes stuff on the Twitch channel. Uh, you can find me there uh, uh, by searching Joseph Anthro. I also do streams about uh, different topics in anthropology. And some of my other work. So you guys can uh, check those out as well. Check the schedule on there. Moving the lions forward. Um, looks like just these last two units of British regulars left in the battle. Uh, but like I said at the beginning of the video, this is our last battle in our series on the American Revolution. If there's any battles we missed, let me know in the comments below if there's any specific you want to see. Uh, I usually have like an algorithm for what battles I'll do, but that's just for my own notes. If there's battles you guys would like to see, just let me know. I'll look into it. Looks like these guys are shattered, though. <laughs> It's like they walked up to us, they saw how many of us there were, and then they just shouted a big old nope and uh, decided to run. So we're going to let them surrender. Uh, historically, following this battle is when the Americans were, I believe, able to recapture Charleston after a long period of the war. So uh, the war pretty much ended here. There were a couple more years, like I said, I believe in the video we did on Chesapeake. Uh, there were some minor skirmishes in the north. But uh, the surrender of Yorktown essentially marks the formal end of the American Revolutionary War. That's when the negotiations finally began of American independence between the colonies and the British. So guys, that's all I've got for you for the American Revolution. Hope you guys liked it. If you liked this battle, hit the like button. If you want to see more battles uh, from 18th century 
North America in general. Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'll look into it. And uh, if you want to stay up to date on all of our battle reenactments, hit the subscribe button. I, uh, I'm working on a new goal, like a themed goal. Uh, right now, I have about 28 subscribers, I think, on YouTube, at least like as of yesterday. And uh, so it's going to be by like military rank. So right now I'm at the rank of sergeant, which uh, leads units of about 10. And if you guys can get up to 30 subscribers on YouTube for me, uh, you'll help me earn the rank of lieutenant, uh, platoon leader. And then um, at 100, captain, and so on and so forth. So I'm two subscribers away from being a lieutenant. So guys, hit that subscribe button to help me out, help me gain rank. And, uh, you know, until next time, guys, I'll see you on, uh, on whatever next battlefield we find ourselves on.